Welcome to the Redefinition Daily with Ozan, a daily inspiration for a better new life. Good morning. We believe you are in the right spirit and this message is meeting you at the right time. You have received the first and most important miracle from God this day. The miracle of sleeping and waking up. It means you have won the first battle. Praise God for that. Hallelujah. This is the beginning of a new working week. And depending on your area of abode, I believe you are setting out for your daily bread. Let us appreciate God for the gift of life today. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of sleeping and waking up. We bless you for the numerous blessings you have bestowed into this week. And by faith, we receive them with thanksgiving. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Let's join William McDowell. As we surrender all to God this week, we shall withhold nothing. We shall withhold nothing. This is a redefinition daily with your friend Hosanna. Yes, we will surrender everything to him this week. We surrender everything to him. We will not withhold anything from him. 
because God is our shepherd. God is our provider. God is our everything. So we surrender everything to Him. We are sitting on this series, the common mistakes we make in life. The common mistakes we make in life. Today we shall continue our discourse on the mistake of doubts in our moments of trials. We said doubt is a state of uncertainty, undecidedness in opinion or belief. Doubt is the lack of conviction about a matter. We also said that doubt itself may not be a sign of weakness or failure, but it demonstrates our human nature. Out of the three main levels of doubt that affects a man, the self-doubt, interpersonal doubt, and our doubting of the abilities of God, we looked at self-doubt as a lack of confidence, the lack of confidence in your abilities. And each time we have self-doubt, we are simply doubting God who created us in his own image and likeness. The next level by which we demonstrate doubt is what I call interpersonal doubt. When we say interpersonal, we are simply referring to the day-by-day relationship between two persons. The day-by-day relationship between two persons. This relationship sometimes gets soured when certain levels of trust and faithfulness is broken between the parties involved. This always brings about doubt in the relationship. When we doubt ourselves, it causes lack of trust in ourselves. We fear one another and begin to manipulate and outsmart one another. True love cannot come when we doubt ourselves because we are suspicious of one another. Interpersonal doubt can sometimes be a mistake and the other time a blessing. For example, if Israel had doubted the lepers who came from Syria with a testimony of supplies of food at the gate of Syria in 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 10, they would have remained in hunger and famine. On the other hand, if the younger prophet had doubted the advice of the older prophet for him to eat in his house, especially when God had warned him not to eat anywhere, he would have lived on. But he was eaten by lions because he believed everything. In 1 Kings chapter 13, verse 11, following. Oftentimes we doubt each other when, number one, there is much familiarity. In Matthew chapter 13, from verse 53 to the end, the Bible says, When Jesus had finished telling these stories, he left there, returned to his hometown, and gave a lecture in the meeting house. He made a real hit, impressing everyone. We had no idea he was this good, they said. How did he get so wise, get such ability? But in the next breath, they were cutting him down. We have known him since he was a kid. He's a carpenter's son. We know his mother, Mary. We know his brother James and Joseph, Simon and Judas, all his sisters live here. Who does he think he is? They got their noses all out of joint. Verse 54, 8. But Jesus said, A prophet is taken for granted in his own hometown and his family. He did not do many miracles there because of their hostile indifference. Why were they indifferent? Familiarity. Familiarity made them the daddy's ability and as a result, less miracles was done in their midst. Wow. Number two, we doubt ourselves when there's suspicion. But why would I suspect you? When the lane you followed yesterday, when you hurt me, is the same lane that you are following now. The same lie you told me yesterday is the same lie you are rehearsing now. When you have never told me the truth before. In 2 Chronicles chapter 18, verse 16, from verse 6 following, King Jehoshaphat doubted the prophecy of the prophet who told him that they would win the battle against the enemies. So he demanded for another prophet. Why won't I doubt preachers that only tell me about the prosperity of God without the dignity of labor? Why won't I doubt the preachers that always tell me about the judgment of God without the mercies and grace of God? Number three. We doubt when there is loss of trust and confidence in each other. David and Jonathan trusted each other and had confidence in their relationship. We need the kind of bond that existed between David and Jonathan in 1 Samuel chapter 20 from verse 1 following. They never doubted their love and commitment to each other. Although Jonathan knew that David had been anointed king to take over from instead of him, to take over from his father instead of him. So we need discernment in dealing with other people 
We need to be wise like the serpent and be harmless like the dove. Matthew chapter 10 verse 16. David and Jonathan trusted each other. They trusted each other. They were in a bond. There was no doubt in their relationship. They loved each other. So when there is love and unity, understanding, interpersonal doubt will disappear. Friends, we need to develop ourselves to the point that we will not doubt each other. It's a common mistake when we begin to doubt each other. But I must tell you also, there are reasons why we doubt each other. But this morning we want to pray that God, even our God, will remove from us everything that causes doubt. So I pray for you this morning, my friend. I pray for you this morning that this week you shall meet trustworthy business partners in the name of Jesus. You shall meet trustworthy business partners. You shall meet trustworthy friends. I pray for you today that you will meet divine connection to your destiny helpers this week in the name of Jesus. I release the angel of your destiny to liquidate you this week in the name of Jesus. I speak and I redirect the steps of people that will bring good news to you to locate you this week. I speak and I redirect the steps of people that want to bring hardship to you. They will never find you this week in the name of Jesus. I separate you from every secret destiny destroyer. I separate you from enemies that stick closer to you as if they are friends. But they are the one hitting you hard. They are the one destroying you. They are the one that is manipulating your destiny. I separate you from them today in the name of Jesus. This week, wickedness shall not locate you in your household. This week, wickedness shall not locate you in your household. This week, I break every evil mirror. Every evil mirror that is used to monitor your growth and development in life, it shall not see you anymore. In the name of Jesus, everything that will be monitoring your destiny, that made it remain at the same point always, the same point you were last year, the same point you were last month, and they have started monitoring you again this month, I break that mirror in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree any friend that will not help you, they shall not see you. Any friend that will not help you, they shall not see you. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy into your way this day. Let your week be open. Let your week be open. Let your week be open. Your family shall meet greatness. Your husband shall meet greatness. Your wife will come back with a testimony. Your children shall testify. Your household shall testify. Thank you, Heavenly Father. From today, you have no reason to doubt again because the Lord your God is connecting you to the right sets of people. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. God bless you. Thank you for listening. We believe you are blessed by this broadcast. Join us every day for fresh episode. You can also get our broadcast on Google and Apple Podcasts. For further information, call 080-3880-3842. You can rediscover a new life.